My name is Kristen Lenters, and I'm the director of theater at Chicago Christian High School. I've been involved in theater at Chicago Christian for over 20 years, and during that time, I've been involved in directing over 20 productions. I'm here to tell you a little bit more about what theater has been like and what it will be like this year. So what theater has been like? We at Chicago Christian try really hard to give kids eight different experiences in their four years at Chicago Christian. We typically will do one musical a year and one play a year. And our musicals, when we're choosing musicals, we try to choose things that will help kids to understand life in a different way, that will represent different genres, and also sometimes different composers, as well as perhaps modern interests and classic things like Fiddler on the Roof. So examples of some of the things that we've done, we've done The Wiz, we've done The Sound of Music, we've done Little Shop of Horrors. This year, we are planning on doing Disney's Freaky Friday, which is a brand new musical that we are really interested in helping kind of premiere here in America. And we've also done very classic things like My Fair Lady, uh, Fiddler on the Roof. And again, thinking every time that we choose a show, how is this show different than the last show we did? And what are the, the three experiences that maybe our seniors have had so far to kind of provide them with something new and something different? And oftentimes too, we do try to look for differences in perhaps our set or costumes or makeup, maybe focusing in on one of those areas of production in each thing as well. And the same is true for our plays. We've done many classic things like Importance of Being Earnest and The Crucible, as well as more modern productions uh, like Almost Maine and one that was called The High School Story. And this year we're planning on doing two one acts, one which is a very modern show that I believe was written about five years ago, and then another that is something called Bedtime Stories that my father told and kept messing up, which is gonna be a little bit more of children's theater. And that is something else that we've tried to do over the years as well. Um, for the class that just graduated, they started with A Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare, and we provided matinee performances for our middle schools. And then the next year, we did Alice in Wonderland, where we provided matinee performances for our elementary schools. And then they did a show called Almost Maine, again, which was a very interesting character study. And then their senior year, we did The Miracle Worker. So just providing them with a variety of genres, a variety of writers, just so that they can leave with an education as well as very different experiences. There are lots of ways that kids can get involved in theater here at Chicago Christian. During our musicals, I would say we have between 70 and 80 kids that are involved in different ways, from our pit orchestra, to our sound and light booth, to the kids that are on the stage, the kids that built the sets, the kids that are moving the sets, the kids that are in charge of the props or doing hair and makeup. And so there's just a lot of different ways that kids can get involved. And a lot of times it's kind of fun to see kids who will say, I'm a set kid, that's my job. I move the sets and they're involved in every show. Same with our sound and light board. We are actually kind of blessed that in the past 10 years, we've had to replace both our sound and our light board. So we have kind of state-of-the-art things that our kids are learning every day more and more ways of how to use them, how to improve our productions. And they're well surpassed what I know. I actually sometimes have struggled to turn them on. Um, but it's great for our kids to really learn some of those skills while they're here at Chicago Christian. In addition to our co-curricular theater opportunities, our students do have the opportunity to take a drama class once during their time here at Chicago Christian. And that drama class really focuses in on the basics of theater, teaching what we call the building blocks of theater, things like characterization, voice, movement, improvisation, and then developing that into monologue performances. And then eventually their goal at the end is to create a chapel production. And oftentimes that chapel production is something that we've taken on the road to area elementary schools. We've done performances of the Sneetches, we've done performances of Horton Here's a Who, other kind of things that are easily adaptable to audiences, but that also have a really good message. So that's a great opportunity that kids have. And that drama class also tries to take advantage at least once of going to some of the amazing theater that we have here in Chicago so that they can see professional live theater and then evaluate it against what they've learned. So we've gone to places like the Chicago Shakespeare Theater downtown, we've gone to Steppenwolf Theater, and we also try as a theater department to take advantage of some of those opportunities as well. We have participated in something called the Broadway in Chicago um, Illinois Music Theater Festival Awards. And so every year we enter, they come, they adjudicate our performances, which is a great way for our kids to get some feedback on what they've done and where they can improve. Um, and then we also have the chance for our actors to get the chance to be 
compared against other high school kids and perhaps to even earn a trip to New York City to be part of the Jimmy Awards, which hasn't happened yet, but who knows? It might happen one of these days. And sometimes that group that we're a part of gives us the opportunity to go downtown and see some Broadway shows. So we actually got to see Fiddler on the Roof when it was in Chicago. We've gotten to see the premiere of Tootsie here in Chicago. And those are some great opportunities for our kids. We also take at least 14 to 15 kids every year to the Illinois High School um, Theater Festival that is held at either Illinois State University or at the University of Illinois, which is a great way for kids to get on college campuses. And while we're there, we see tons of productions. They get the chance to go to different workshops. If they're a backstage kid, they can sharpen those skills. If they're an onstage kid, they can sharpen those skills. We've gone to some great makeup workshops too. And it's just really a cool way for our kids to get involved with other professionals in Illinois see lots of other shows and meet other kids and improve their skills. And one of the things that I sometimes will hear from parents is, so my kid has always done these things in middle school, but now that they're in high school, will they have to focus more on their homework or will they only get to play their sport? And the truth is that being a small school, we really try to help kids balance all of their responsibilities. And as adults, we really try to balance out their involvement in both academic things, in extracurricular things, and then in our sports as well. So for example, we had a student um, who graduated last year who was state eligible in tennis. She was also state eligible in a competition called WISE, which is where they take tests. She was state eligible in a competition called Mock Trial, and she was involved in both the play and the musical that year. So it is very possible for kids to be as involved as they wanna be. And we really kind of take that on as adults to try to help balance out, okay, I need them for this practice and you need them for that practice and really kind of working together to make sure that kids can, can do those things. Every once in a while, they do have to make some choices. There are a couple sports that maybe aren't as compatible with musical and there's a couple of things that maybe aren't as compatible with the play. But for the most part, we really try to help kids work through those things. So one of the things that's different this year is obviously that we're in the middle of a global pandemic. So we are really working hard to try to figure out ways to make theater still an experience that our kids can be involved in, as well as making it accessible for our audiences. So we are, like I said, this fall planning on doing two one-act shows. So each of those shows will practice independently of each other. Each of those casts will stay apart from each other. And during practices, they will be masked and social distanced. And we are working on trying to figure out staging that makes sense for our audience as well as for our actors that still incorporates masking and social distancing. And we're hoping to have a live audience of about 30 to 38 people um, so that our entire auditorium has 50 people in total. And then we're also looking at ways of streaming those productions so that other people are able to see them as well. And as we continue to go throughout the year, I'm sure we'll have more and more updates about how we're making our theater possible. We do have another group called our improv team and our improv team is also historically been a big part of our theater program. We have nine kids that are on that team. We take that team to various places to do per performances, and then they have three performances a year in here as well. And they'll also be practicing this year's social distance. We've been thinking about perhaps having a Facebook Live performance with them, so that way audiences can send in suggestions uh, via the live stream, as well as maybe having some people here in the audience as well. So we're hoping that while COVID may change things for us, we still can have amazing productions and give our kids that experience of creating art, which is so vital for them. Which comes to my last point, which is why do theater in a Christian school? We have to. You know, as image bearers of God, we are to show the different attributes that we have. And the first thing that we learn about God in Genesis is God created. So therefore God demands that we are creative as well. And theater is such a great way for kids to learn about being creative. Again, whether it's painting sets or building sets or creating characters on stage. And I think that the ability to create characters on stage is something that is just so important to development because you really, when you're becoming someone here on stage, you are taking on that person. You are inhabiting their skin. You are trying to understand perhaps what makes them evil, what makes them mean, what makes them so kind and gentle. And when we can do that, then we can use those skills in life to learn about people that way too, right? And to have a better understanding of our human beings and a better ability to connect to them. So that's one of the reasons why I think it is so vital that we have theater in a Christian school. 
So if you have any further questions about theater at Chicago Christian, again, I'm Kristen Lenters. I'm the director of theater, and I'm happy to take any email questions that you might have.